connection. All right. Oh, oh. Terry Trey. Hey. Hold on, my nigga, get ready. Well, hold on. Applying the pressure is heavy. I'm saving the game with the cure that I made. They still trying to take me. I'm Edison Savvy. Five foot seven, I'm still moving heavy. No BL3, but I slide with a break. Think he the go to get hit with a hazy. Top two in the game like Ronaldo and Messi. Cerebral assassin, the new triple A. They try to lock me out, so I'm hopping the gate. Locked in for the hunt, I can never be prey. Heavy say Yo, so look. So look. I'm going to go ahead and get this video over with. And I'm going to go ahead and give my predictions of who is going to win these playoff games, okay? So, look. So, you already know I want Lions to win, obviously. That's my home team. Why would I not want the Lions to win? But I'm going to go ahead and base off my opinion on all the teams that's playing in the playoffs, though. So, let's go ahead and get started, though. So, look. The Ravens, they the clinch the AFC. They got first place, so if you get first place during the playoffs, you get a bye week. So you get time to race, you get time to scout other teams, so you can go ahead and figure out what you need to do or who you're going to go up against. You feel me? So it's, it's, it's a good place to be in if you're first. And for the NFC, the 49ers, and I mean the 49ers got that. So the 49ers are first in the NFC. So they got a spot. Uh, being a bye week so they get to scout out teams too i'm gonna go ahead and do amc first and then i'm gonna do the nfc so let's go ahead and get to it so right now for the first game we got the bills versus Steelers. all right well it's not really the first game i'm just going through the low well actually no hold on because no i'm looking at the i'm looking at the thing right now hold on y'all i'm trying to find something hold on you want to know? I'm just going to get my opinion. Okay, so look. Bills versus Steelers. That's one playoff game that's going to happen. So, um, I ain't going to lie. I don't know. The Bills versus Steelers. Um, the Bills haven't been all good this year. They have not. They haven't been at their best this whole year. So, I don't know what's going on. Like, their record wasn't as good, too. But they somehow made it. And they're number two. Or I could be tripping. I could be mistaken as another team. But me personally, I don't think they was this good this year. I don't think they were. I think they was okay. But they number two. So, I mean, that helps. And they got against the Steelers. The Steelers had a... The Steelers is a sneaky team to go in. If I had to choose who's going to win this, no lie. I feel like this game could come to a tie. I feel like it might come to a tie. Like, I feel like it might be, like, 14-14. Cause they both got good defense. Like, I ain't gonna lie. They both got good defense. And you just see what the Steelers just did to the Ravens. Like, they let them down to only, like, 17 points. Or 14. One of those. So, and the Bills, they don't have bad defense either. So, I really think there's gonna be a tie. But, in reality, I feel like Steelers might upset. I feel like Steelers might upset. Josh Allen hasn't been playing at his best lately. And Steelers, they got people in that D-line that could do some work. So, in my opinion, I feel like Steelers might win. I feel like they might win. That's what I feel like. I'm going to the next game. Chiefs and Dolphins. This is going to be good. You got Tyreek. Once, once the Chiefs. He once was the Chiefs. You feel me? But he moved. Went to another team. That's not, that's not a bad team. Doing pretty good. And then you got the Chiefs. You got Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs. Now, the Chiefs have been real shaky this whole season. Like, the whole season. Like, after that loss they suffered with us, they done won games, lost a couple of games. They just they just haven't been, they haven't been the Chiefs that we, we usually used to see. You feel me? Like, the Chiefs give me a Golden State Warrior. Like, you feel me? Like, they the Golden State Warrior for real. So, but I don't know. Like, they haven't been doing good. So, I mean, the Chiefs haven't been doing good. The Dolphins... Have been playing pretty solid. They're playing pretty solid. Um, the Ravens did give them that whooping, though. But they have been playing solid, though. Um, a lot of people might say Dolphins. But I'm not going to lie. With Patrick Mahomes being in the playoffs, he has too much experience, bro. And I feel like he might mess around and win this game. I'm not even going to lie to you. Now, I could be wrong or something. But I feel like he might mess around and do it. Patrick Mahomes has a lot of playoff experience. And Tua only has this first playoff experience. So, I mean, you got to have experience in the league. Like, if you have experience, you know what you're doing. And your nerves, you're going to be like, oh, I know this. Like, I've been through this before. 
Patrick Mahomes been through this three, four times in his year, bro. He's he's good, bro. I think they might actually beat the Dolphins. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. I think they might beat the Dolphins. Now, is it gonna be an easy game? Nah, it's not gonna be an easy game. Uh, for the Dolphins, on the other hand, I was gonna say they D line is strong, but they just lost what's the name on a D line because they wanted to keep their starters in for that Ravens game. So now he's out of. He's probably probably out for the season, low key, and probably more than that. Um. But yeah, I think the score would probably be like, probably, you know, something simple, like 28, 21, maybe. I think it might be like that. I think it might be. I mean, it's going to be a scoring game for sure. And then most likely, like, you already know how that go. Anyway. Now, Texas and Browns. I ain't going to lie. This game I might watch. This game I might watch, bro. Cleveland Browns snuck in there, and they had a lot of quarterback trouble. They had Deshaun Watson. Other dude, I, I forgot the other people quarterback names, but they done went through a whole bunch of quarterbacks and made playoffs. So this team kind of surprises me because they done went through multiple quarterbacks and still in the playoffs, which is crazy. In the Texas, bro, CJ Stroud, bro, a beast. Is a beast, bro. Is a beast. They made playoffs, surprisingly, bro. They record was only 10 and 7. So, I mean, Man, I ain't gonna lie. I'm, I might just tune into this game, though, because I, I kind of want to see who's gonna win. I ain't gonna lie. I really want the Texas to win because I want to see how far CJ Stroud can go for real. But he, he, but like I said, too much hype on your name, though, it can cost you a lot. A lot too much hype on your name. And that's not a bad thing to have too much hype on your name, but you know, once you feel that hype, it's gonna go through you, and then you just gonna, you're gonna be all over the place. So you're not gonna really be focusing on the game for real. So, me personally, I feel like the Texas might win. The score wise, um, um, this got potential of being a high scoring game, but I feel like it might be a little lower just that. I think it might be lower than that. Me personally, I think it might just be I think this is gonna be between a defensive game. Cause you gotta realize they got Miles Garrett in that They got Miles Garrett on there. And you already know he about to come in for some sacks, so it's going to be a defense again, so CJ Stroud going to be running for his life. So this might be maybe a 17-10, 17-10. I could be wrong. It, it got potential of being a high-scoring game, though, but it could be. So, But that's all the AFC. I mean, drop your comments below who you think will be who's going to win those games in the AFC. Now, we're going to the NFC. Now, the NFC, I ain't going to lie, the NFC got a lot of hype. Cause there's some teams in there that a lot of people want to win, but it may and may not happen. So look, we already got 49ers. They got that bye week. So they get to sit back, relax, stay at home, check the teams out, and then get back to work next week. We got Cowboys and Packers. <laughs> hey, as much as I do not like this team, because there are rivals, I got Packers winning this. I got Packers winning this, bro. For some reason, when the Cowboys go into the playoffs, they can't seem to even get past the first round, bro. They can't seem to get past the first round. And Dak Prescott messes up a lot during playoffs, bro. It's terrible. The Cowboys have a good team. They have a good, good team. Offense and defense on the side of the ball. You got Mar Michael Parsons, one of the best in the league right now. Um, You did have Trayvon Diggs, but he's out for the season. But for them to be... In the playoffs with all that, and he's been injured, it's been good. Um, got Stephon Gilmore, you got you got uh Tony Pollard, you got C Day Lamb, you know he's gonna come in clutch for you. So if I'm Dak, I'm looking for C Day damn near every time. I'm not even gonna lie to you, bro. You know how dangerous he can be. I really got Packers. Like for some reason, I feel like Jordan Love might upset them, bro. I think he might. I really think he might upset. In my opinion, I think he's going to upset. The score, I'm going to say it's going to be like 35-20 at most. Because you see what we did to them. You see what we did to they, they um offense. They only score about 14 points. And they usually score more than that. So, I think I think Packers has seen that game. And they probably be like, all right, this is what they did. This is what we going to do now. And don't get me wrong. And don't, and don't forget... Jair Alexander going to be on C.D. Lamb for sure. So, you already know that's going to be a good matchup off the bat. But I got Packers winning that. I, I really do got Packers winning that. Now, the game I'm waiting for. Lions 
and Rams. Where do I start? Where do I start for this? Where do I start? You got two teams that switch quarterbacks. Two teams on the same team. Switch quarterbacks. That was in the 2021 season, I believe. Matthew Stafford went to the Rams. Made playoffs. Got a Super Bowl ring. Jerry Goff went to the Detroit Lions. Didn't make playoffs. Had the worst record in the league. Um, This game, this game about to be interesting. A lot of people that's probably not even fans of both teams are going to see this game. I'm telling you. This going to be the most watched game here. I'm telling you, bro. This going to be the most watched game. Between all these games, the Lions and the Rams about to be the most watched game. And y'all got to realize, the Lions haven't made playoffs in 30-something years. You know how long that is, bro? I wasn't born then. 30-something years, bro. That's probably in the time MJ was still playing ball, bro. That's probably in the time Kobe was balling. Kareem or Duke, like, bro, you like you get what I'm saying? Like, 30 years. 30 years. We had Matthew Stafford. He had Calvin Johnson. Calvin Johnson retired. He wasn't getting paid. They didn't want to pay him his money. He got up out. And then plus, he was taking too many hits. You got to see the documentary on him, bro. He had, like, his fingers is messed up. Toes is messed up. I would have quit, too. That's too much. That's too much wear and tear in your body. Jared Goff. And I mean Jerry Goff. I need you to go off Sunday, bro. I need you to go off, bro. We having the first playoff home game in, in how long, bro? I need you to show your coach, your old team, why they should have never, and I mean never, have traded you, bro. Jerry Goff. There, there was times you had bad games, times you had good games. This game, I need you to be at your best. I need you to be at your best, Jerry. I promise you. Leave all the BS games you to have, bro. This game matters, bro. Not only that we need a win, but you need to prove to this team why they should never have traded you. You need to look Stafford in the eyes and say, it's go time. You need to look him in the eyes and be like, it's my team now. You got to do something, bro. Something, bro. This this game is literally this game literally means a lot to me, bro. Phone is on D and D, bro. I'm telling you, I might record it, dog. I might do a like a YouTube video of it. But phone is on D and D. I'm not texting nobody. I'm not calling nobody. Don't hit me up. If you call me, it's getting straight to voicemail. This game is important, bro. Do you know how crazy Ford feel about to be? Do you know how crazy it's about to be? Do you know? <laughs> My opinion, that game is going to be the most watched game in the playoffs. I'm telling you, bro. It's going to be the most watched game. And everybody's going to be talking about it. We done got cheated on for too damn long, bro. <sighs> Anyways. The next team. Buccaneers and Eagles. Hmm. Um, defense is good on both sides. Eagles offense is better though. But then again, Eagles kind of slacked a little bit during the final two or three games. They didn't been losing a couple of games and they don't have Devontae Smith. They don't have him. So, but you do got AJ Brown. You do got DeAndre Swift, Jalen Hurts. So you still got key guys on the team. You got key guys on the team. So, I mean, they not really hurting for real, but they are. Because Devontae Smith helps a lot with that offensive playbook. And he's really their main target for real with A.J. Brown. So, A.J. Brown and DeAndre Swift, y'all got to step up. Y'all got to step up. A.J. Brown most likely because he's about to get targeted crazy in this game, bro. And Swift probably going to have about 20-some carries. Buccaneers, on the other hand... Uh, Baker Mayfield, he's, um, I want to say good, but he's been surprising. He's been surprising, though. I ain't gonna lie. This season, he's been kind of, 
you been kind of low key surprising for real. I ain't even gonna lie. Like, you been surprising a little bit. He got a solid team. He got a solid team. He got receivers on that team too, and you got a pretty good defense. So I mean, I don't know. This game could really be neck and neck, but then also I feel like Eagles might upset them. The Eagles just might upset them. I really do feel like that. Um, I mean, it, it could go both ways. Eagles and Buccaneers, it's it's really whatever. I don't feel me. I don't too much care for it. It's really whatever. Um, but yeah, that's um that's my that's my vote. That's my vote for the NFC and the AFC playoffs, bro. Um, I'm going to do this every time the game started and all that, bro, and get my opinion on the game. But, yeah, the the AFC for sure, the games I'm watching is most likely Texans and Browns. I might tune into the Chiefs and Dolphins for real, too. But the Texans and Browns, I do kind of want to see. I do want to see that. And you already know what I'm watching on the NFC. I don't care about these other two teams. Like I said, I got my vote. Packers are going to upset Cowboys. And Eagles... Buccaneers, I really don't care what happens in that game. I, I don't care. I really don't. I feel like Eagles might blow them out for real, but it is what it is. I'm worried about the Lions and the Rams. This game is like, this game is like the, the Rock and John Cena, bro. That's that's literally what it is. The Rock and John Cena. That's that that's literally what this game is, bro. Is is, bro, you don't understand, bro. Two head coaches. Bro, and not only Jared Goff need to go off, Dan Campbell. I know, look, we done went for it too many times in fourth downs, bro. Too many times in fourth down. 